Hello Vogue, I am Miles Chumley Watson and I'm going to be taking you through my skincare, hair care and my overall wellness to keep me sharp for when I'm on the road. First step, candles. I love candles, I always travel on the road with me, just kind of reminds me of being home and since I'm in the hotel all the time, it's just like a lovely feeling of just zen. So look in this candle, if only you could smell it. Wow. So the first thing we do is a lovely vitamin C face mask. Just so you know, give that skin some love, especially like being on the plane and sweating a lot with a mask. It's just like nice to just always put on. Oh, this one smells nice. And then you just look stunning for about five minutes. You know, I normally put this on and go downstairs, put a coffee on, go back out, and then it's done. So then after five minutes, you look like that. It's not overly like wet on your face, it's nice and kind of sinks into your pores, so that's a good one. I'm a facial scrubber. Some people say, oh, it's too hot on your skin, but get a good facial scrub, say about a little glob. I started exfoliating a lot more because in venting, we sweat a lot. And then, you know, if your skin's not clean, then it's easy to get acne or just irritate the skin. Looking like a million dollars out there. All right, next. I take a pure cleansing oil. I got this one in Korea. It's just nice, felt really good. Since you just scrub the skin, I gotta love the skin. Got a bit of love it, darling. Yes, I was in Korea for work and I ran out of my um, cleansing oil. I was like, oh no, where do I go? And I'm like, I'm in Korea, I go anywhere. And I just stumbled upon the shop that had about 18,000 different cleansing oils. And I just found this one and I loved it. And make sure you get the beard as well. And make sure you yeah, check yourself out now. Make sure you feel good. So I heard through this lady in the Korean shop says, since you do the scrub, your skin is really like rough and dry. That if you leave the cleansing oil on your skin, it will actually, they say, rejuvenate your skin faster. So I leave it on. This is a lovely little exfoliating, brightening, you know. Take a little go of this. Do the good old Home Alone scene, you know? It does that, and it screams. Oh, it has a little burn in this one. But it should burn, it's a good thing. As I'm preparing for the Olympics, fencing's massive in Paris, so it's kind of like a different feel to the whole Olympics this year, because, you know, we've got the history in our venues of Grand Palais, so it's gonna be really lovely to be able to, you know, hopefully make history there, but also just be an amazing culture of, of Paris. I love Paris. I've actually competed in this venue before, so I'm excited to uh, hopefully bring back something nice and shiny. I was just in Paris with Vogue World. I was walking my thing down a runway, um, which was sick. It was amazing. That was like pff, ridiculous. This is my serum. And I just learned about serums like maybe two years ago. I think I've always like taken care of myself, you know, just in terms of hygiene. And then like when I started to get you know, more and more busier. I would just always like, want to make sure that my skin was fresh. My mom's always been like, taking care of herself. So she looks like she's 30, but she's not. So my mom's kind of probably one person who like told me about, you know, taking care of your skin and wearing sunscreen, which I used to never wear sunscreen. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm mixed and tan. I don't need to wear sunscreen, but I was wrong. A good sunscreen is really good because you don't want to walk around and have like that white look on your face. I got my first facial ever. I was like, this is incredible. I want to go every day. Like things like that, getting, you know, massages. And every Sunday, me and my coach, we go to the Russian sauna, which is like amazing for your skin. Like that's like been a game changer for me. So you're sweating all your toxins and then if you're sweating better, then, you know, your skin is breathing more. So I think it's very important to kind of take care of yourself. And, you know, I see a lot of women taking care of themselves. I'm like, all right, well, I should do the same. You should definitely put sunscreen on your entire body. We're gonna get the shoulders. So, since I don't have anyone to help me out here, I'm just gonna do it myself. Definitely noticed in the last couple of years, like, people have been like, men, you know, especially have been taking care of themselves a lot more, which is like, good to see, but also, we should have been doing it years ago, so. So since I did the serum, I didn't forget to put the moisturizer on, so. You know what, you forget sometimes, but I've got a little glob on. I've got a beard too, so. I'm gonna get into the beard as well. And I've got tattoos as well now, so you need to like moisturize as well because I don't wanna lose them. So I think being mixed, I've got kind of both kind of worlds I need to like figure out what to do. Eye gel. 
I don't want bags under my eyes, so I use like a, a lot of this every day, sometimes twice a day. And I don't actually have any bags. So like this has been something that's like, I think people sleep on the eyes gel. It's kind of got, got like a cooling sensation in there. It's therapy as well. You just do this routine, put some music on, have a coffee, you've got the candles still going. I like routine, so it's important to do this every day. And then when I'm on the road, keep everything the same and just like kind of makes you feel more at home, which is, which is nice. Everything here will be with me in the village. Everything, hopefully it's big enough, but <laughs> everything will be here. And then that's just my skincare. So then we've got the next, the hair. I kind of start with like a conditioner because I've got mixed hair. So like Cantu was like really good for, with mixed hair. I take a lot of this and just like run it through your hands and then just nicely through. And it'll be white on, right, it'll be white, but the more you massage it into your hair, it'll just become your hair color. Jamaican black castor oil. It's like purple almost. Take a little glove of this. It just like makes your hair like moist, but also like kind of shiny. And then that also helps it grow. And just really like get into the whole scalp. Also, you can also put this on your skin too. Like look at that, I'm glistening. This little bad boy. Just a little bit of this. It's like oily, so you don't want too much. Otherwise you're gonna ruin your bed sheets. I've done that before. I woke up and my entire head was like glued to my head. Not good luck. <laughs> I used to have a kind of superstitions before a match, or I'd be like, I would take a bath before every competition, or like, you know, I would have to like watch a certain movie or eat a certain meal, but now I don't really. Uh, the night before, I always um, go out with what I'm with, my teammates or whoever, get a good meal, and I don't talk about fencing or sports, just. I don't want to think about it. And then we just enjoy the evening, get back to the room, watch a movie. And then I always lay out my clothes in the morning. So like, got my fencing stuff, got my warm ups, got my hats, got my watches, whatever I have to wear for the, probably for the volume. And then I just do this every morning as well. Kind of like resets me. And then it's time to slice them and dice them. So this is coconut and hibiscus styling milk. So going into like my third Olympics in Paris, I'm not really nervous at all, which is like, when you become the most dangerous. Maybe when I get there, I'll be in my boots, but right now, honestly, no. I was wondering why are my lips so juicy? That's why. This lip balm is incredible. Barbara knows what she's doing. Bye Vogue, see you at the Olympics. Thank you for having me. Hope you love my little skincare, hair care. I'll see you in Paris. Thank you.